Hey guys, Freddie here, owner of Lawn Thumbs, where I've started this business 12 years ago where I grew it from zero to over two million in revenue. And through that time, I've posted my experiences on YouTube where I've met hundreds of people who've asked me for my advice, so I'm here to help you succeed. So what I wanna talk about today, now that you've got some of those other steps from previous videos going, what I wanna talk about is how to get customers, right? We wanna start off really basic right now, you're just starting out, so one of the things you're gonna to need to do is door hangers. Now, a lot of people, it's like 50-50. Either you love door hangers or you hate them, but they're effective any way you look at it. Now, one thing I wanna talk about the door hangers is when you create them and you print them out, don't put a price on there. It's okay to leave it blank and then write your price in with a marker, but you don't need to do that either. The reason is that as you gain more experience and as you feel like your prices need to be raised up a little bit, you're not gonna to wanna to use those old door hangers that are still laying around because they've got old prices. Another thing that is gonna happen naturally, and this isn't something that, that you need to try very hard for, but you need to do good work because the customers are gonna give you word of mouth. Now, it doesn't hurt for you to ask for those referrals as well. You gotta have a presence on Facebook and Instagram, okay? So what I want to warn you or tip you about is keep those two, Facebook and Instagram, business related. Don't post how cool your trucks are, your trailers. This is strictly business. So keep them like action shots where your workers or you are working. Another avenue that's really important is website. You're gonna need to have that going so that if somebody randomly is looking up, they need somebody to mow their lawn, your page will show up. And that's gonna be kind of like the long game. That's something that's gonna come after you've gone through all of these easier leads, your neighbors, uh, your referrals, your word of mouth. You're gonna to need to have new people find you and that's how you're gonna do that. All right guys, I wanna give you a pro tip here. This is a really powerful marketing tool that I use. It's basically networking. So what I do is I find companies that are in the same industry as me, but don't do the same services as me. So for example, if I find a tree company that I can see is really popular and they get a lot of requests for probably everything else because they're a really well-known tree company, I'll go to them or call them and say, hey, if you refer work to me, I'll refer all of the tree work that I get to you. And that's a really powerful way of doing it. That's my pro tip. Hey guys, that's all I got for today. Um, don't forget, if this was useful to you, subscribe, hit the like. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, and I'll catch you on the next one.